Thank you for watching this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to automatically create an invoices for every customer who has uh, unbuilt activities. Uh, when I say unbuilt activities, that means uh, billable charges, expenses, and time. It comes from your single time activity or, uh, or weekly time. See. So I'm going to go to QuickBooks Online. So this is QuickBooks Online Plus. So in order to use this task, you need plus plan, plus plan. So in essentials and simple start, they don't have a billable uh, uh, expense uh, feature. So you need plus plan. Okay, so uh, so first I'm gonna, from home page screen, I'm gonna go to uh, company gear and select account settings, right? And then advance. And in here, under automation, you will see automatically invoice unbill activities. So once this turn it on, you have to have a, to give you a choice. Uh, you can automatically create invoices and don't notify me. You can select automatically create invoices and notify me. Uh, or you can select remind me to create invoices. So the, the last one is not automatic, but it will just remind you. Okay. So I, I'm, I'm, I've selected uh, automatically create invoices and notify me. And for schedule, you can have any activity. Means the moment you create unbuild activity, it will, uh, uh, you know, uh, automatically create uh, uh, invoices for your customers. Or you can select daily, weekly, and monthly. Uh, and monthly, I have, you know, like uh, Monday. Uh, scheduled monthly on day and 24 every month whatever okay and then uh, just save this don't forget to save it and it's done so now whenever you enter uh, billable expenses so when I said whenever I said billable expenses you can enter expense check or bill those three are all uh, you know tools you use for uh, entering uh, uh, expenses so expense right here so this is in here to be able right so uh, a1 supplier vendor let's say the account I want to use is billable billable expense right uh, I'll say the amount is 1000 and it's billable it's set up as 25% markup and then this one's it's set up as a taxable uh, uh, item code and if it's taxable, just select that. One. Otherwise, you can uncheck that box. So the customer is A1. I'll say uh, this is the installation. Uh, and the invoice is invoice reference number is a vendor invoice number. Just give it a name there. Okay. So you can use either account details section or item details. Let's see what I have in here. Okay, I have billable too. The same thing you can use, you know, either here, it's the same thing. You can have mark markable, uh, billable with markup, right? It will give you the exact amount in there. And uh, let's say the same thing, A1 computer, or it could be different, let's say different customer. Right here. So you have a choice either to use account details section or uh, from item details. So if you use item detail, then uh, you can run item details uh, report. Uh, and uh, for account details, the only the report is different. Okay, so uh, so anyway, I'm going to save this. Once you save it, then you will magically create invoices for you. Okay, uh, and in case you, you, you know you're not seeing the billable column in here that means you haven't uh, uh, changed your settings let's go to account settings expenses and in here see, I mark expenses and items billable so this is the box you need to check and mark up right okay and uh, and another thing is whenever you use uh, billable expense account if it's not going to allow it that means that in the chart of accounts you haven't 
pick the uh, billet blue box in here. I'm going to go to start of accounts. See, whenever you create new start of accounts, uh, account or something, let's say I want to select uh, uh, expense, right? And let's say I want to bill for auto charges. So this is the one. You got to use use billable, use for billable expenses, and then you got to select the uh, one uh, income account, right? So if you don't have the income account you need, then you have to first you need to create income account first, and then this is the income account. And if you want to use the items uh, item rather than account, then you need to create a, a product and service item and use use uh, this account in here from product and services new let's say this is for services so this is where you need to select the uh, the product and services you know the billable expense account the income account right okay and if it's untaxable just make sure to uncheck that box so you know that way you can use uh, item uh, for billable or you can use the account details okay so anyway uh, thanks for watching this video visit our website newkeyviewer.com newkeyviewer.com and we have all kinds of other videos related to uh, customers invoices billable uh, stuff so just uh, visit our uh, YouTube channel we have two channels actually one is the new QBO, the new QBO. This is exactly new QBO. The other one, uh, more for accounting, is for PP controller. PP controller. Thank you. Bye.